Welcome friends. Today in the kitchen studio we're going to do another one in the series of soda pop videos that we've made. And today we're making a chocolate pop. Um, although historically this would be found in uh, pharmacist notebooks called a chocolate phosphate. So in this pot I'm starting out with some water. To the water I'm adding sugar and this is cane sugar. I'm going to put that in, and I've got this on sort of a medium-high heat. Now, I've got some cocoa nibs, and the cocoa nibs go in. While that starts to come up to temperature, I have a half of a vanilla pod, and I'm just going to cut that open and scrape out the seeds. Now, the pod and the scraped seeds go into the pot. Uh, I'm just going to give this a stir. Oh, salt. You also need a pinch of salt. So I'm going to get that and put that in as well. Now, we don't really want to bring this to a boil. You just want to bring this up to just below a boil and simmer it until the sugar is dissolved. And then we're going to remove it from the heat and let it steep for 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, now I have a second pot and to that I'm going to add some cocoa dried cocoa powder, uh, unsweetened of course. That goes in and then I'm going to strain the liquid from the first pot into the second pot. So I've got a fine mesh strainer and we'll just pour that in. Okay, now I'll give that a whisk. We'll put it back on the heat. Uh, we're going to bring this to a boil. We're going to whisk it constantly and boil it for about two minutes. Okay, that should do it. So I'm going to pour this out into this glass measuring cup. And then I'm going to stick it in the fridge to chill before we taste it. Glenn, this looks all chocolatey. Yes, we are having a chocolate phosphate. It's really called a chocolate phosphate? It's called a chocolate phosphate. So I have um, acid phosphate that I get from my friend Darcy, and I will link to that below. Uh, he makes this out in London, Ontario. Okay. Now, I haven't put the phosphate in Oh, yet. we have to still put phosphate let's, in it. Okay. Let's, let's check it before we put the phosphate in and see what it tastes like. It smells chocolatey. Mm -hmm. So we just put a couple of drops of acid phosphate in each glass. I uh, have a spoon. Great. Give it a stir. I don't know how much okay. stirring it needs. Well, probably not too much. So then. That brightens the flavor. You don't like it. Well, I can't really describe. Okay, first of all, I can't really describe what the acid phosphate did to the flavor. It, it seems like it filled it in, which I think is the word I used last time we did this. It changed. It kind it. of fills in the flavor. It definitely changes yeah. the flavor. Now, I'm going to put an extra squirt in mine and see if that kind changes of which it again. Chocolatier. If that makes any okay, sense. Okay, so there's I, there's cocoa nibs in it. Okay. And there's cocoa, oh. and you don't like cocoa. I'm a big fan of cocoa. Yeah. I know, which is odd, right? I mean, it's a very subtle difference between uh, cocoa and chocolate and all those other flavors, but there's something about cocoa. Okay, wait, don't. Oh, okay. Two squirts of acid phosphate. So I'm not, I don't think I'm a fan. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm, it's not, it's not my favorite either. I mean, this, this was all the rage in the late 1890s or so. This, this chocolate phosphate, you'll find it in all kinds of different um, pharmacy recipe books. But I can see how people like it though. I can see how it would be very popular. 
To there me, there are a lot of things that are popular that I'm not fond of. To me, the chocolate is a little. The chocolate flavor is a little thin, and it's a little bit too much like cocoa without the fat. Does that make sense? It is, and this is, might be your bias. You might inherently always associate chocolate flavor with beef. That, that fat, fat molecule. that that fat filling right? your mouth. That yeah. In that same way that people associate vanilla with being sweet. Yes. Even though there's no sugar in vanilla per se. So I think if you're exploring pop like we are, this give is it a try. This is fairly easy you to give it a it. try. Yes. It could be, um, you know, someone. It's like a melted fudgicle. I really kind of like fudgicles. Do they even make fudgicles anymore? Yes, they make fudgicles. I haven't seen a fudgicle, fudgicle in a long time. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope to see you again soon. Take care.